Over to you, Mark. Thank you. So I'm Mark. I'm going to talk to you about three things, three, three, <laughs> that Muhammad Ali would not have fought me on. Did you know that Muhammad Ali used to record conversations with his friends, with his family, and especially with his kids, always telling them one day these conversations are going to be part of history. And he made that happen. And to have the, the point is that to have the clarity of purpose, to know what you're going to do, that's a remarkable thing. And I think that's something that all of us or some of us may have struggled with in this room. For, for myself, I know that has been the case. So I'm going to share with you three things that have ha made my life easier over the last six months, which I think would resonate with Muhammad Ali, and I hope resonates with you as well. So the first thing, the first thing is make time to think. Right? Even with his incredibly busy schedule, this guy managed to find time to think about religion, politics, family, love. What's worked for me is to wake up early in the morning, I know it sounds crazy, but to do that before the world wakes up, before there's any distractions, and have time for yourself. Just do what you want to do, and you'll have, you know, you'll have a much better day. And I don't think Muhammad Ali would disagree with that. And number two, Number two is make yourself accountable. Muhammad Ali was amazing at this. He used to call the newspapers up five months before a fight and tell them, I am going to knock this guy out in round five. I mean, that is holding yourself accountable, right? So I don't think we need to be that, let's say, that committed. Uh, but what we can do, what's worked for me, is to find a mentor to get a coach, to add advisors to my business that hold me accountable for building the dream that I want to build. And I think anyone can do that. And the third thing is also very simple, actually. It is start building your world today, the world you want. So Muhammad Ali actually built the training camp that he dreamed of as a 12-year-old. So again, we can keep this simpler. Think about what is, after all the successes you want in life, what is the perfect day for you? And like me, you might realize that there's actually a lot of very simple pleasures and emotions in there that you can start implementing today. And I don't think Muhammad Ali would have disagreed with that either. So whether you want to build, you, you want to be the greatest at what you do, or the greatest in the world ever. I hope those three things could help you. Thank you.